Hey guys, this is another video tutorial of Windows System Programming. In this tutorial, we'll see how to create semaphore. Before going to start, here are some theory part about the semaphore. So I'll covering the both uh, semaphore and mutex differences. So in bracket, I, I have written the mutex. So first point is that semaphore is an integer variable, while mutex is object. Second is Semaphore is a signaling mechanism while mutex is locking mechanism. Third one, semaphore value can be modified by weight and signal operation but in case of mutex it is either locked or unlocked. Semaphore has two types, binary semaphore and counting semaphore. Binary semaphore means uh, the value of semaphore either 0 or 1 or counting semaphore means more than 1. Fifth point is that semaphore value modified by any process by acquiring or releasing the semaphore. But in case of mutex this is a very important point those who acquire the lock only can release the lock that is the mutual ownership. In mutex mutual ownership is maintained but in case of semaphore anyone can acquire or release the semaphore but in case of uh, mutex those who acquire the lock only those can release the lock this is the basic difference between the mutex and binary semaphore so here I'll use the some API function first one is the create semaphore it create or open a named or unnamed semaphore object this API is very similar to create mutex API so the return type of that function is handle it will take the four argument first one is the security attribute this one is the initial count and third one is the maximum count if you see here the initial count the value must be greater than or equal to zero or less than or equal to maximum count so and in third argument the maximum count for the semaphore object this value must be greater than zero so I'll put it here 1 and 1 so I'll create sing only one semaphore for that and third one is the name if you provide the name then it becomes the named named semaphore otherwise if you keep it here null then it becomes unnamed mutex oh, sorry un unnamed semaphore the return value if you see that if the function succeeds so it will create a semaphore handle if the function fail it return value is null and we can print the get last error function error number with the help of get last error function so don't forget to read the remark section release semaphore release semaphore suppose if we are using two or three semaphore then we can use the release semaphore function the return type of that function is boolean type I'll not use that uh, API in our program so we simply you have to pass the semaphore and you have to provide your count and the previous count here is the open semaphore open semaphore simply it will open the named semaphore if you see the open an existing named semaphore object so you have to provide here desired access desired access similar to the create open mutex api function here i'll keep it here a semaphore all access but in case of mutex it will become mutex all access both api are very similar and inherit angle the return type at this function is bool so i'll keep it here false and here you have to provide them your semaphore name return type is handle if the handle succeed then fine finally we can open our named semaphore if the function fails means return value is zero so we can print the error number with the help of get last error function so here i'll use so i'll create one handle for that hsm and uh, create semaphore so first uh, first api security attribute so i'll put it here null initial count 1 and maximum count 1 and 
simple I am creating the unnamed mutex so check the condition hsm null then see out and we can print the error number with the help of get last error function no need to write anything and then write here create semaphore failed and error number and if the function succeed then success and we have to use here close handle API function because the return type of that function is handle so we have to pass that handle so this was the basic program this is the basic program of how to create semaphore so build our project uh, so now it's done so debug so see the create semaphore success so now I have to create the named semaphore and I'll use the open semaphore API so you have to create the two program first program will create the create semaphore API function second program will create uh, we have to use the open semaphore so here I'll use the my semaphore name is semaphore my semaphore rest of the thing is similar here I have to change one thing get last sorry get care I use because I want to hold so I have already made a program of open semaphore so the open semaphore API the region type is same handle and first one is the desired access so I put it here semaphore all access inherit so I don't want to inherit so I I kept here false and here you have to which semaphore you want to open so here we have to provide the name of that semaphore rest of the things are same so so I'm just copy and checking this condition here okay so just build and this open semaphore also program rebuild so see rebuild succeeded in here it's now rebuild succeeded so this one is the create semaphore so start so create semaphore function started and go to the open semaphore see open semaphore creation success and here the create semaphore success so just minimize it and press enter so this was the basic program of how to create semaphore and how to use the open semaphore API function I hope you like this video thanks for watching this video do hit comment share and subscribe this channel